What is up Shark Army, it's me Game Shark, and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I am going to be discussing the future of Stardew Valley and what plans we will expect to see in the long run. The developer Eric Barone, also known as Concerned Ape, has given us some information on his current and future plans for Stardew Valley by making a full blog post explaining all of this. You can read this for yourself, there will be a link down below if you do want to read the blog. But today I will be looking and going more into detail with this to give you a better understanding on what to expect and to give you my thoughts on this as well. So, as many of you already know, Eric Barone has also been working on a brand new game alongside Stardew Valley. This is a future investment that he wants to see through and fulfil. And he explains that this new game will be set in the same universe as Stardew Valley, which is really exciting. This is the only information that he has shared with us though, because he wants to be able to work on it without any pressure for the time being. He goes on to say that he also wants to make sure the concept is fully realised before revealing anything, because once it's out there, he is going to have to fully commit to it. Now since making Stardew Valley and having a huge success with this amazing game, he did push this to one side whilst having a team work for him to get the multiplayer and updates out for the consoles etc, which gave Eric some freedom so he could devote his time developing this new game. But Eric recently revealed that he now will be self-publishing Stardew Valley on most platforms, everywhere except Nintendo Switch and mobile, meaning as of today, for PC, Mac, Linux, Xbox One, PlayStation 4 and PS Vita. If you have any questions, comments or business inquiries, you'll need to send them directly to him, as he now bears 100% of the responsibility for those platforms. He no longer has a team to help him on those platforms. He did also go on to explain that because of him demoting his time developing this new game, that there might not be any time spent on Stardew Valley, meaning we wouldn't get any new future updates, mainly because he felt burnt out with the game and he wanted to move on to something new. Sad, I know. But since this, things have changed, luckily for us. Eric always finds himself coming back to Stardew Valley, which is understandable, because we all have that feeling too. For example, he keeps getting new ideas for ways to improve and expand upon the game. He says the world is so full of potential, and he could probably work on it for the rest of his life. He also quoted, there is also such a wonderful community surrounding the game, and I like making you guys happy. I'm extremely grateful to all of you for supporting my work and creating this wonderful Stardew Valley community. I wouldn't be where I am today without you. And knowing that, there's still tons of people out there who love the game and would be extremely happy to get new content motivates me to keep working. So in short, with this mindset that he has built up, he is going to keep making new content for Stardew Valley. He doesn't want to disappoint the fans. In fact, he's recently put his other game on the back burner and he has now been in the process of creating a new free content update for Stardew Valley. French, Korean, Italian and Turkish translations are also underway, though they might not come until early next year. Now, the fact that he is already working on a 1.4 update, and the 1.3 update isn't even released for the Xbox and PS4 users yet, and the Switch and PS Vita users don't have a stable patch for the bugs and the problems with the 1.3. This could and most likely will upset and annoy a lot of people, but he promises and makes it very clear that this will be his first and main priority before the future plans go through. But we have to understand now as well that he doesn't do the ports anymore. A company called Sickhead Games works on Stardew Valley for the PlayStation 4 and Xbox for the multiplayer. So when he does work on the new content, it's only when he has no current avenue or addressing these higher priority issues. So let's talk about this new 1.4 update and the future of Stardew Valley. What is happening and when is it going to happen? Well, Eric says in his blog post, Currently I am working on a new Stardew Valley update and my new game is on hold for the time being. The difficult thing is that I want to work on both. I want to keep working on Stardew Valley and I also want to work on my new game. But I don't have enough time to accomplish my goals with both things simultaneously. For a while I considered being finished with Stardew Valley altogether, but that would make me and many others sad, so I've decided that I'm going to form a team to help me work on the future Stardew Valley content. The update I'm working on right now, 1.4, will be another solo update, but after that I hope to have a team in place that I can work closely with on future content. Eric's always worked alone and working with a team is going to be a whole new ball game for him. But however, just as he did with Stardew Valley, he's just going to go for it and he's going to have faith and hopefully he can rise the occasion and make it work. His hope is that the new team that he's going to get together is going to take some of the workload off of him, so then he's going to have enough breathing room to divide his time between the new game and Stardew Valley. 
He also goes on to say that he still has plans on having a very active role in the future of Stardew Valley and the originator of all major Stardew Valley decisions and content. And there are many aspects of development which I'll never be okay with handing over to another like music or writing, but when it comes to programming, fixing bugs, administrative business work or even pixel art, I think I'd be okay with having some help. He has also posted recently job roles for people to come and work for programming and doing some work on Stardew Valley. So if you are good at programming and you know what you're doing, apply below. You, you might be able to work alongside Eric Brome of Stardew Valley, which is incredible. If I knew how to do programming, I would certainly go and apply. So now we know his intentions. He isn't going to leave Stardew Valley behind, which he was going to do originally. But I am so glad that he's still committed to Stardew Valley and he wants to take it to a whole new level. This game is the greatest and it's very popular worldwide and seeing this just vanish with no future plans or updates would have been so sad to see. But Eric knows as well as me, you and everybody else how big and great Stardew Valley is and it can just keep getting better. So we will expect to see the future updates and it seems like one is just around the corner and I can't wait to play it and explore. So let's just narrow this down with a quick summary of Eric's plans. First, his top priority is to see the 1.3 multiplayer update come to Xbox One and PlayStation. 4 and for issues with the switch patch to be addressed. He is working on a new game but he has put this on hold in order to create a new Stardew Valley update which will be the 1.4. Then he plans on forming a team to help him work on the new content which will be beyond 1.4. French, Korean, Italian and Turkish translations are in the works but they might not come until early next year. Once he has his team in place to help him with the new content for Stardew Valley, he will divide his time between Stardew Valley and the new game. And also, he is now self-publishing Stardew Valley on all platforms except Nintendo Switch and mobile. So there we have it guys, the future of Stardew Valley is bright. Much brighter than we hoped for. It isn't over yet. Expect to see some more come to this fantastic game. I rate and respect Eric Brown massively. What he has done and achieved with this game and the community that he has created is beautiful. Let's not rush him. He deserves a break. Let him enjoy. If he wants to make a new game, let him do that. If he wants to sit by a pool, let him be. But just know that Stardew Valley will always be in his heart, just like it will Howard's, and he won't stop working on this magical game that he developed himself solo. It all takes time and updates are on the way. In my opinion, this is what Stardew Valley needed. Yes, the 1.3 update with the multiplayer is great, but this game has potential to have so much more content. What I'd personally like to see in the future updates is maybe like a new map or a new town or an area, somewhere that you can visit rather than just a desert. Maybe take the bus to another place like a, a proper town with uh, loads of shops and different NPCs. May I'd love to see maybe some new festivals and events or even some new story and quests to keep you playing the game. But we can all be hopeful and that is just something that we dream to see. We don't know what's going to be around the corner. We don't know what's going to be in these updates, but we're just going to have to wait and see. And I can't wait to see. But I hope this video was informative and gave you a clear vision. Let me know down below, guys, what you would love to see in the future updates. What do you think Stardew Valley is missing? Send it in the comments down below. I'm going to read them all. I'll pin my favorite one, the chat, which I believe will be a great feature added to the content. Give me your thoughts on this. Where do you want to see Stardew Valley go in the future? But I do hope this video was informative and it gave you a clear vision on what to expect. And if you did enjoy it, please hit that like button as well and share it with your friends. You can also subscribe if you're new here. It's free, easy to do. Just click the notification bell as well to stay posted and notified when I upload videos. We are close to 30,000 subscribers. I'd love to get that as soon as possible. You guys are amazing. I love all the support. If you love Stardew Valley and you want to see the new update and some new features and gameplay, then this is the channel for you. But until then, I'm going to end that one there. Thanks for watching, guys. It's been me, the King of the Sea, and I will see you all on the next one. Bye-bye, farmers. Bye-bye.
the fucking Eagle Double G. Snoop.